Yo, so Fantano reacted to Uzi's album. Not reacted, actually. Well, he did react, probably. But he gave his review. And people were getting a little bit angry. But, but I feel like this was actually a pretty good one. I haven't... I didn't listen to it because I wanted to react to it. But the rating on it, I heard, was not too bad. Like, it was pretty fair. Especially... When you compare it to all of the other ratings that fans know has given Uzi. Stop meat riding ETF. What does that even mean? Hi, 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 hi. hi everyone, The River here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Lil Uzi Vert EP, Red and White. This is a new EP of tracks from Philly rapper and singer Lil Uzi Vert. It's been a minute since we've heard from them, and that's understandable as 20... At first, I was going to be like, wait, no, it's not them, it's him. But nah, it's them, it's them. 20 was a pretty prolific year with the long-awaited release of Eternal A Take, the deluxe version of Eternal A Take, which dropped an entire album's worth of tracks on the original record. There was also the collab with Future, Pluto, and Baby Pluto. We're supposed to be getting another mixtape drop this year, but in the meantime, we've got this red and white EP. This thing was originally released on SoundCloud, which I think is a, a fitting platform considering that this is some of the rawest stuff that Uzi has brought to the table since their SoundCloud days. Whether that be the track Hit My Shoulder, which damn this track goes, the rumbling bass, the murky keys, the wheezy little lead melodies all snap perfectly to Uzi's speedy refrains. There's also the repetitive and hype is a hit, which reads like Uzi's own nod to the recent rash of rage music out there, especially with their exasperated and shouty chorus. Like this cut could have easily been on a whole lot of red, but still this is a sound and a style that uzi bends to their benefit on here there's also the what whole lot of red do any of these songs fit whole lot of red is that am i, am I tripping right now I, I don't know i feel like it doesn't Posterous Glock in my purse, which is a, a pretty hilarious fashion statement about, you know, rocking a bag. Uzi commenting on it being a purse or not a purse. And there's a lot of weird standout lines on this one. They don't like TLC, but I guess they're in love with Chili. Also talking about how they're not a purse has a, a Glock in it and, uh, you know, not lip gloss, but a lean and a penis. Yo, D Dot, can you please shut the fuck up? I don't know how many times I've told you we can listen to NBA Youngboy's album tomorrow. Jesus Christ. Stop spamming the same stupid shit. <laughs> if you're going to spam, then listen to the stream. We I've told you. Cillin, Uzi stocked up on antibiotics. Again, the bars across this track, ridiculous, hilarious. There's also the closer Final Fantasy, which handily has the most epic beat on the entire EP. Has he said anything about For Fun yet? It's the most epic beat on the entire EP with its grand string movements, bright bells, soaring guitars. Uzi brings a passionate performance on the chorus as well. The production on the track does carry a bit, and I wish the verses had as much going for them as the choruses, but this track is still a major highlight here especially with Uzi kind of giving out these agonized emo style lead vocals around the midpoint of the track. Flex Up has a pretty solid song structure and chorus as well. And I found the rest of the EP. I'm waiting for four fun, four fun. P2 be pretty listenable. The weakest moments on this thing don't really overstay their welcome. But I will say there are still tracks that suffer from Uzi's trademark lack of variation or direction. You know, putting out songs that feel like they're kind of caught in a loop. I know is an example also for... What? Bro! I swear to God, if he says, I know, and For Fun are the worst tracks in the album, this bro is tripping. Normally, I don't necessarily care about his ratings anyway. I just like to see, like, what people that he, like, he, you know, he's a different type of fan, right? Like, he listens to a different type of music, but how the fuck do you not like I Know or For Fun? I swear, I'm going to kill him. I'm gonna go find him. Not actually YouTube. Don't 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 ban me. But if, if he says for fun is trash, oh my god. For fun. The track cigarette is so washed out and psychedelic it feels almost what lost the in the fuck, sauce. What the bro? That's an L. That's an L. Normally I'm not the type of guy to be calling out other creators saying like 
l whatever because you know i get it i am a creator i, I understand it's, it's annoying as fuck when like fans are saying that type of shit but oh my god those are the two best songs on the fucking on the fucking album man and believe me, for as cathartic as Uzi's performances on this one, uh, their vocal lines are pretty out of tune with the instrumental. It's a really tone deaf performance. Wait, he said I know was repetitive and then he put it in fave tracks. Huh overall especially on the intro overall this is a pretty solid ep from uzi vert everything you need nothing you don't not overproduced not over budgeted not anything like that are there some subpar and some average moments on this thing yes but i kind of went into this expecting that because uzi has never kind of proven to be a top tier lyricist or vocalist but they still do get by just on pure energy alone on a lot of these cuts as well as charisma and personality not to mention they're just on with some of these hooks feeling a strong six to a light seven on this this one transition have you given this ep a listen Did transition you love it? Did you okay so he gave it a he gave it a strong six light seven if you recall my original was like 6.5 or some shit <laughs> but now it's probably like a 7.5 maybe eight maybe eight i like pretty much for fun is the only song that i've listened to uh other than like a few like maybe lawsy and a little bit of jace album the last couple of weeks i'm gonna be real with y'all for fun is my, my my it's my anthem for 2022 best song so far can't can't beat it and i wasn't even really like i listened to the snippet that people listen to for the longest and you know i'm, I'm just not a snippet guy i can't sit there like listen to a muddy ass fucking you know you know you know the analogy the mom's dildo recording but this one hit I'd be bumping Lawsy in a whip. Man, I wish I had a whip. We've gone over on the stream. I want to buy another whip, but I sold mine. It was pissing me off. I had a old 911 convertible, but like it was since it was old, like I couldn't use. I had to like do one of those weird tape and aux cord things. I don't know how to describe it, but it was it was just whack, just whack. Sold it. Might get another Porsche, I don't know.